So in order to get the answer to the question about the purity, what you would have needed to do was to change the solid purity here from 100% to 95%. And that then introduces the possibility that the crystalline product may not be 100% pure, um, whereas in the previous case, it was, it was pure. And um, really the graph in the center here now is the one that we're mostly interested in. And just to make that graph as useful as possible, I'm going to double click on the axis and I'm going to have it focus on the area between, I'm going to pick 98 and 100%. So now it's kind of a zoomed in picture of the purity profile that would result from stopping the crystallization anywhere in this um, square or rectangle at the bottom of the bottom of the plot. So we start in the top corner over here and we finish in the bottom corner. That's kind of completion of the addition and completion of the cooling. That's the way to kind of interpret these surface plots. And we can see here that with the current conditions, if we started with a 95% purity and we now pushed the crystallization to, to that same final temperature, we would get still about 97% yield, but our product purity would be less than 99, it'd be less than 98 in fact, so 97.81%. So we would have purified the product to a degree, the crystals would be richer in product than the mother liquor, um, or than the overall recipe, but um, we're not hitting the purity target that we want to hit. And this is a classical trade-off between yield and purity. Uh, the further you push the yields, the more of the impurity typically you take out along with the product. So. Um, Again here, I think this is probably the way you did it. You can just come over here to final temperature and say, well, I don't like 10 degrees. How about 12 degrees? And you'll see that that brings you up to 98%, uh, 98.3. So I'm looking over here at the number. I'm also looking at the graph. So 99 is where we want to be. And we can see this. We'd still finish um, below 99 with our current process design. Um, so what you can do, I'm just going to show it because it's a general thing. Uh, you can go to the what if analysis part of Excel and say you want to goal seek. Actually, I'm going to select purity. I'm going to goal seek using that. Um, so what if analysis goal seek. And you just type in the answer you want, which is 99% purity. And then you say what cell you're willing to change to get that result. And it's this one here, final temperature and then you let the simulation run to find a value that works and it will converge and you'll get exactly 99% purity over here. It will tell you 14.22 degrees. You all said 14 to 15 degrees. And we can see now on the purity plot our, our end point is just at 99%. Um, interesting thing about that plot is if you had cooled and then added which we said was a bad idea, but if you had done that, you would have gone through a lower purity level and then come back up. So you, you, it wouldn't have been a particularly optimum way to run the crystallization. Um, so anyhow, that's not what we're doing. We're doing the add and then we're cooling. But with, there's, there's a limit on how far we can cool if in this case we want to maintain the purity at 99%. And uh, the supplementary to that was what's your yield? Uh, we had 97% a minute ago, we're still at nearly 96%, so there isn't. It's still a very, very high yielding process in this case. Um, typically, you'd be down around the 80s in probably a lot of your own situations. But um, hopefully you get the idea there about how this is used.